Well, we've right. had some rain, Kevin, but clearly not enough. Yeah, that's right. And regarding that drought monitor, again, ground truth is so important. So get with your extension agent and then the information is relayed because nobody knows unless reports are received. And we're getting reports of severe weather, perhaps around Botno here. We've already had reports of hail, hail around Cirrus. So Botno County, again, uh, remain weather aware. That thunderstorm diving toward Botno right now. That's about it. There are a few more popping up a little bit south of Botno, but the big pattern here, we got monsoon moisture in the desert southwest, the Four Corners region of the southwest, and all of which pinwheeling in a clockwise fashion here around the center of this very strong high. That's why it's been so hot with sinking or subsidence air in the central and southern plains. And we're on the edge of that, so the storms here in Botno are moving a bit toward the uh, southeast or even south. Maybe some more development here uh, south of Rugby, south of US 2. Meanwhile, again, it's hot, it's humid. It's that air you can wear upper 80s and low 90s right now. Bismarck at 90, 94 in Glasgow, Sydney 92. Williston, you're at 87 degrees, but it again, it's so humid out there and not much of a breeze outside of those showers and storms. Dew points are way up there. Again, look at that the orange shade here. That means the air feels oppressive and it's going to stay that way all night tonight and all day tomorrow. 8 o'clock snapshot tomorrow morning. Again, air you can wear. It's going to be a really soupy first day of August here. Fuel for thunderstorms later in the day because there's a strong disturbance moving through and a very high likelihood of scattered severe thunderstorms on the way. We got that number one ingredient of uh, moisture in the air and now there's a disturbance which will just ignite these showers and storms. Uh, just think of it like a match to a firecracker. Got to have both ingredients to make a big explosion. Well, that can happen in the atmosphere tomorrow regarding an explosion of thunderstorms. Something will be remaining weather aware and passing that information on to you about. Meanwhile, again, for tonight, 80s and 90s a chance for thunderstorms mainly in north central North Dakota. S 11 o'clock tonight, we're still going to be in the 70s in many areas. So it just gives you an idea that uh, air with moisture in it really has a hard time cooling off overnight. So expect 70s until after midnight, then 60s for overnight lows. But then we'll begin to see thunderstorms, a couple of different waves on the way. Tomorrow morning, not quite as strong, but a chance for a few isolated severe storms. But into the afternoon, stronger disturbance coming through. And watch what happens. Thunder storms in the forecast here by early to mid evening tomorrow evening and that's where we have that higher probability of severe weather centered on North Dakota. We haven't had a lot of episodes of severe so far this summer across the northern plains. Tomorrow that might change a bit here. We're at a level two out of five, but it's a larger coverage area. So again, I do think just looking at all the dynamics in the atmosphere at play, we're going to have some severe weather to contend with. Uh, winds over 70, damaging hail and heavy rain, the primary threats for tomorrow late afternoon into the evening. What about August as a whole though? Again, a bit of a change could be in the works here. More rivers of air or the jet stream in such a configuration that we get more cooler air coming in from the north. The rest of the country is baking, but we're doing well here across the northern plains here. That might mean near or above normal amounts of precip and near or below normal temperatures. We'll see how that plays out, but at least next week we're looking at temps to remain a bit at or even below normal, but highs for tomorrow back in the heat here. Widespread 90s. Again, that air you can wear. It's going to be very humid tomorrow, all of which fuel for thunderstorms. So next week, a big difference here. Looking at highs in the 70s, a lot less humidity, but it's tomorrow. Got to remain weather aware in that soupy air mass. Yeah, definitely. Those severe mm. storms could be anywhere. Yeah, absolutely right. Anywhere statewide for tomorrow. Thanks. Yeah. Up next